Derby so far, and this afternoon, a hard sellout. Number 14 Alabama comes to town with a series on the line to take on the Wildcats of Kentucky. And how Alabama be disciplined, keep their hands inside that screwball, or have this type of result. Got her on the wrist, and Larson, the third baseman, gobbles it up for out. And being able to manage that, the, the really great pitchers can do that, and they can do it very quickly. And that 3 2 pitch missed outside. And Soka Halem becomes the first Bama base runner. Homer Thursday night hit one again last night. And that time pops it up into shallow center. How about that play on the run? Two one pitch lifted to right. Plotz has got it. And Schoonover gives up the walk, but nothing else. Oh, see, I, I get confused on these sisters. Genesis left me. Wow, that's going to be an error. Haven't seen that much. But a little peekaboo down there by Emma Broadfoot. And ball's grounded to second. They'll try to get Koffel at first. They do, but can't turn the double play. That was a nice turn out there by Hevelin for out number one. Parts of the zone and can, th can throw a variety of pitches. And just as we say that, she comes up with a wild pitch. And that allows Smith to get into scoring position. Out pitch. And she walked. herself the whole time before she hits. Ball bobbled, Smith on the run, and she's in there safe. We've seen Giles. As you can see Beaver with already 23 pitches in his first inning, and that they check and say yes. And Abs couldn't stop it. And that was a pretty planting on deck. They will still be cautious with Larson. And that one missed outside. We have not seen that from her in the game so far. And 3 2 pitches grounded to short. Kahalen has to go across the diamond, and the inning is over. Match. And that ball is popped up to the infield. Koffel plays the win, and there's one away. Able to really work to her strengths, which is that screw ball. We've seen a lot of fly ball outs. We're going to get another one here. And it just has such a late break on it. She has so much confidence throwing it. It runs in on the hands of the right-handed batters. I mean, if I'm, if I'm playing again. Hot shot, and Lorsing thought she got it on a line, but she was going to make sure. It's a one, two, three inning for Schoonover as the Cats come to hit in a second. Got in there and made an impact. Hit that one, and it's up in the wind. Taken by the center fielder, Lauren Johnson, for out number one. Schoonover here in the middle of the season, that seemed to be a good combination. Boy, that ball missed downstairs, and Mitchell was able to work Beaver set to look. The 0 one pitch and a little delayed steal there. Hucky to get on the board first. Borzaleri, a little squibber to second. Mitchell comes over and takes the extra base and goes to third. One, two pitch. Wow, nobody's at first. Wow! You could see that coming. What happened? It was fielded by the second baseman and nobody was there to flip to. Yeah, not sure why Abby Dukeshire went so far away from first base to get that ball. You want your first baseman to motion, forcing that defense to make some choices, especially with two strikes on the batter. Got her. And that's the inning. Bo on the Alabama leadoff hitter. 
I mean, those pitches are not missing by much. And now she hit her. That ball bunted. Really nice play by Larson. And now Reisner runs at her as long as possible. That's exactly the way to play it. And uh, they've been passing the bat. That ball's hit hard and it's, oh gosh, did it get out? It hit the top of the fence. Oh, wow. That one hit harder. And for the second straight day, RBI from Alabama. You can add to that total. This pitch not enough off the plate. Ascunover continued to work the outer part of the plate. This one comes across the inside. And Johnson has been on fire this weekend. He heads to the dugout for offense. That ball is hit well to left, but it's hauled in out there by Donaldson. So Alabama gets a run on one hit. Gives, gives Kentucky a shot. Just a quality at bat every time. That's a flare to second. Wow. And did that ball fool Hevelin. Pitches. Of course, the air by one of her teammates. Right. Just a lot of extended innings. And she went. Couldn't hold herself up on that. She strikes out for the second time. To the shortstop, Kahalen. And the inning is over. We've played three and with the series on the line. It doesn't matter if you're a high school coach and yep. a first year assistant or Ooh, uh, Giles it. gets a free base there. But it doesn't matter if you're a, a rookie coach or a seasoned veteran. Uh, you know, you put anything on, you know, in terms of hit and run or. But that ball is looped in the left field. It's going to find the ground and that's in for a base hit. Vanessa Nesby now out there and left. Hands on deck. Give everyone an opportunity. And she walked her. Schoonover has now gotten herself in a big hole. And that ball gets away from the catcher, Mitchell. Here comes the throw, and it's not close. And that was Giles who led things off by getting hit in the hand, and now they'll have an opportunity to go back and work on her in the Alabama bench. It's a lot of defensive mistakes from both teams today, and those little things matter. Allie Mitchell just too slow at getting. Oh, gosh, that got Murph now. He was able to turn his head. They started to bring an ice bag out and Murph having some fun, but oh gosh, it got him right on the elbow, didn't it? I tell you what, you just there's just no place to go. And with a runner second, like it, it did get him in that spot and certainly not in the head. And that ball's outside, and that's a walk. Home crowd didn't like it, and now Rachel Lawson is gonna come out to argue. Make up for it here. Lifts a soft fly to second. Infield fly is called. And for the Wildcats, finally out number one. Here now the 2-2. Checks uh, foul tip, rather. Mitchell held on to it. And as they lead it 2-1, grounder to Koffel, the flip to second. And the inning is over, but not before Bama scratches out one on a hit, no errors, but they leave the bases full. Errors, the walks, the, there's just been a lot of odd things happen to really put pressure on the defense, but yet the pitchers like that, right there with Kayla Beaver have been able. Kind of tied her up and reached her though, barrels up the first pitch as she gets the Wildcats second hit of the day. Back up the middle. That ball lifted toward the gap and left center. It's off the wall. Reisner comes chugging into third, and she got the stop sign from Christine Himes. And Mitchell turned on a pitch, barreled it up, and cruises into a second with a stand-up double. 
And it's her first double of the season. This pitch left too much over the plate by Beaver and Mitchell does not miss. Kentucky, one of the best teams in the SEC, in the country, an extra base hit. Plays on base, taking the extra base. That ball, what a play. Dukesure really gave up a run earlier in this game when she went and tried to get a ground ball that she shouldn't have. Make an impact on the game on in defense. That was a huge play for the Alabama defense. Hamilton strokes one. It's going to make the wall. Two runs in as Reisner and Mitchell score. Right center. Instead it goes to the shortstop. And a tough play, but the inning is over. But not before the Wildcats get two runs on three hits. They leave a couple on base. A little flare out there. Reasoner's got it. Um, hot shot. Reasoner two for two here in the fifth. In the air, will it stay in? Lorsing is called off by Koffel, and she makes the catch. Ball right in front, it's fair, wow! And I'm telling you, that was some kind of play right there by Hevelin, or else that ball was gonna end up against a wall. Hit ready to go. Right. Back up the middle, and Brisky snags it. And quickly there, two away. And that's high chopper. That's going to be trouble. She had to double clutch it. And so Hevelin made that great play on the throw earlier, but she just couldn't get that one out of the glove cleanly. And that ball shot to first, and there's Dukesher again. Can she get there? Wow. That young lady has made a couple of nice plays late in this one. Nothing for the Cats. One was earned, three walks, and just one strikeout. Larson. And there's one away. That ball hit to center. And that falls for a base hit. Just the third hit of the day for the Crimson Tide. Ground until you get a good beat on it. And that ball's popped straight up. There's Reasoner. There's the right fielder. Wow. Plots and Reasoner. That's the kind of thing that can happen. That hit the bat, didn't it? Wow. I thought I heard bat, but maybe I didn't. A lot of movement on that pitch. Esman at first. Haney at the plate. That's right there. And Haney knew she was locked up. Schoonover gets out of the jam. And she's down on strikes. First strikeout for Jocelyn Brisky since. Hundred as a team with that many opportunities. Borzaleri to the shortstop. And Cahalen throws across for out number two. Back up the middle and Brisky nicely picks it. And that's a one, two, three inning. The Tide needs one in the seventh. And trying to use that speed to get on base. And that one is chopped foul. Extra base hits on the season. Right. But the last thing you want with a one run lead, you know, this is like a no doubles defense. You want to stay a little deeper. And that's exactly what she does. She shoots it right past Lorson. And they call it a base hit. 
Got her swinging, but the ball gets away. And Johnson is going to be on base. Wow. Wow. Would have liked to have seen her keep that ball in front, turn your glove over. Just a big mistake there by Mitchell. And another one. That's going to be a wild pitch, but I mean, as a catcher, you got to drop that knee. Tying run 60 feet away, even more important. So here's Kaylin. And she rips a single. And we're all even. It's so big in the big moments throughout her career. This pitch is down in the zone. She gets her bat head down in the zone, doesn't try to do too much with this pitch, just finds the gap on the pull side, and we've got a tie ball game. A little more this season, but a very experienced hitter in the box. Lifts that one to center field, back to the track, and in front of the wall. It's hauled in out there by Blanton for out number two. Boy, and she rips that ball to left. But Nesby is back there and she's got it. But not before the Tide manufacture a run on two hits. She goes off speed. And that's going to be an error. Kenley Kahalen got the big hit in the. Giving her a chance here. The second, did they get the out? I don't know if they did or not. They might take a look at that. Rachel Lawson is calling for that immediately. I don't think that was a bad slide or anything. It just looked tough. And here goes the foot. And then she's on the back. Front of the circle. After review, the call on the field is upheld. Runners out. There you go. Like right there. And that's going to be a base hit. And that was a really good play by Broadfoot to just eat that ball. Short and grounded out back to the pitcher. That ball is squibbed. And Nesby gets back. Reasoner waits on deck. That ball is booted by the third baseman. So you put it in play, and you never know what might happen. Pitch. And does Valentine get it? She does. And Alabama gets out of the inning. Got her on the off speed. Ball is looped into left field, and that's a base hit. One, two. Popped it up to the right side, and Borzaleri is there. The ball hit off the fist. Into foul ground, and nothing going for the tie to the eighth. For Brisky, and that ball is thrown across the diamond for out number one. Brisky. Walked her on four pitches, wow. Off the fist, that's gonna fall for a base hit. They don't send Lacatena. Between the ears, just knows how to get it done when it matters most. Doesn't Smith have to try to move the runners up? No, I guess not. That's going to walk it off. Shows you what I know. Riley Smith with a game-ending double. And Kentucky has taken the series from Alabama with an extra inning 4-3 
victory. Threw 321 pitches in two games. On Riley Smith, who's really struggled at the plate, puts her best swing, she gets her foot down, she's balanced, takes it right back up the middle, and there is no stop sign for Lakatena, who isn't usually on the base paths, but this ball gets all the way to the fence. Lakatena scores easily, a huge series win for Kentucky. Wow. What a